hurricane threatens to hit Florida. People around here usually know what to do. They stock up on supplies and state leaders open up shelters. That's right. But when an extreme heat event hits, life goes on. We just deal with all the scorching temperatures. And you may not know, but the fact is heat waves actually kill more people in the United States than any other weather event. And in tonight's Full Circle Report, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us how urban heat islands are making things worse and the new efforts now underway to cool us down. I really want citizens to understand is that we have forest in cities. We have over a million trees in the city of Tampa. They're bringing in oxygen, and they're bringing in oxygen on a level where if you have a large enough forested area, it can function as the lungs of the city. Trees provide so many benefits to us as human beings, it, it would be hard to argue against having them. You two dudes have been trekking through the woods together for four years. Yes. Yep. I'm trying to save the planet one sensor at a time. One, one sensor, sensor at, at a time. time. Yep. One sensor and, at a time, one study at a time. And, and, <laughs> and having those conversations with other areas of the United States to, to figure out what's working, what's not working. Ross Dickerson and Brian Knox took us on a walk in the woods to show us three sensors in the Rocky Creek Trails Nature Preserve. They are part of a network scattered in urban forests across our area and the country. So we've teamed up with 12 other cities in the United States, and so they're doing uh, the same project. Knox is a senior forester examiner with the city of Tampa. Dickerson is with the Hillsborough County Conservation and Environmental Lands Department. This is a sensor for the healthy forest type. All of the people in the network can see what's happening down here. So we wanted to be part of this network too to kind of help people understand what the effects are when developments start to surround nature preserves. You can get about two to 10 degrees cooler in the forested areas easily. Extreme heat isn't going away. Scientists, city leaders, and researchers across the Bay Area are teaming up to find solutions. Not just planting trees, but smarter development, cooling centers, identifying hot zones, and educating the public. And right along Hillsborough Avenue, this parking lot is on average two degrees warmer than everywhere else in the city of Tampa. Collectively, what happens when we have all of these little concrete pockets around the city? Well, it does several things. Uh, not only does it make the city hotter, but it also causes flooding and it ultimately reduces the quality of life. Deaths from heat stroke are on the rise. A recent study in The Lancet, Planetary Health estimated more than 5 million deaths globally every year. And in the United States, on average, 702 deaths per year with more than 9,000 hospitalizations and 67,000 trips to the ER. Many people might be surprised to learn extreme heat is the number one weather-related killer in the U.S. Does this shock you at all about how fast it's warming? It's going to get faster. It usually it, it kind of starts out slow. People don't really notice it. And then all of a sudden it starts to change exponentially. And that's where our, when it starts to do that, that's when I'm going to get really nervous. Daniel Noah is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in Tampa. He tells me the data on heat is terrifying. Well, our heat index in the summertime ranges between 100 to 105 most every day. But with the, our warming temperatures, we're going to start to see more of 105 to 110. If you're in downtown Tampa, add some more degrees because now you've got the heat urban island effect and it just makes it hot. Last July was the hottest month on record in Tampa and the warmest for average low temps at night. 2022 is also on track to be Tampa's hottest year ever. And it's not just the heat. Climate change is making weather events more extreme and putting Florida at ground zero for something else. Our water levels have gone up nine inches over the last hundred years and they will continue to rise. Right here, we got a gopher tortoise. But back in the urban forest, nature was on full display from the gopher tortoise to butterflies and insects. You can see why it is one of the most popular trails in Tampa, especially for jogger Kim Denton. It's an escape. It makes everything better because life is a little hard these days. Live oaks are my favorite trees, so if you can put more of those, that'd be great. 
The tree canopy here is amazing. Behind me, it looks almost Jurassic with those huge oaks towering over the area. This place is only two miles from Citrus Park Mall. I'm still in an urban forest, and the best part, they were able to save this from developers. And we came in and bought it, and it's not gonna be developed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh full of pride celebrating a small victory for Knox and Dickerson's research. How excited are you guys when you get the data? <laughs> I mean, I know I want to call you geeks. <laughs> you know, we are. We're going to be really excited because yeah. everybody knows trees produce cooling effects. Everybody knows if it's hot outside, you go under a tree, right? But it's going to allow us to actually show in numbers the benefits that trees do provide to shading the earth which is just one of many ecosystem services that these forested lands provide to the citizens of Hillsborough County and beyond. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.